Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Meredith and I'm so glad you're hanging out with me today. I'm gonna show y'all this really simple but bold, shimmery New Year's Eve look. This is one of my all-time favorite looks and I show y'all how to use it with probably palettes you already have in your makeup drawer or in your makeup bag. It's so simple. A lot of New Year's Eve looks are like blacks and blues and intense colors, like things you probably don't have and things that might scare you. So this look is using simple neutral colors to achieve a really bold look to get you through your New Year's Eve parties. Whether that's staying in and doing a virtual party or going out with friends, this look is perfect. It's super simple, but I mean, this glow we've got girls is something else. And I paired it with a red lip, but any color would look so good with this. You could do a deep red, make it a little more mysterious, or you could do a nude lip and would look so good. Um, so I hope you guys will join me as we hang out and do this look together. So let's get started. let's get into our New Year's Eve sparkly makeup look. How about it? Okay, obviously first as always I'm using my Becca First Light Priming Filter. I love this. It really does help my complexion. Um, I need to get some more. I'm almost out. I'm just gonna take this all over. Really working that into my T-zone where I want the most complexion help. So I'm going to go back in with my Your Skin But Better by It Cosmetics. I've used this a couple times and I did a whole review video on it. So if you want to take a look at that, there'll be a little bar up there. You can go check that video out. I'm just gonna take two pumps. I'm just gonna like split that on my face. And using my sponge, I'm just gonna go in and blend that out. Next, I'm gonna go in with some concealer. And I'm gonna use my Tarte Shape Tape in the shade um, Light just to brighten up and really conceal. And you seriously don't need a lot of this because it goes a long way. So I'm just gonna take this underneath my eyes and I'm also gonna take it on my nose and my eyelid. And that's just gonna help to prime everything and get it ready for my eyeshadow later brightens everything right up. I'm gonna take my foundation brush by Morphe and just dip it into some Cody Airspun powder. And I'm just gonna kind of press that in just to set my under eyes. I like using this because it's dense and so it really picks up some good product, but it's light enough to where you're not caking it on and it's just really gonna set really close to that lash line for you and keep it from creasing. You go in with my Real Techniques powder brush. And again, just a little more Cody Airspun powder. I'm gonna press that into my cheeks. I like to make sure this part of my face is really set so that when I do my bronzer, it'll blend really well. I'm gonna go in with my Physicians Formula Bronzer Butter. And this this is a Real Techniques, um, I forget what brush, cause some sort of complexion brush. I'll tag it below so if you need one of these. But I like to use this for my contour. This bronzer is a little dark, which is why I can use it for more of a contour shade. So I'm gonna take it, and if I go like this, you can see this shadow that appears. And so you wanna go right in here, and when you're contouring, you don't wanna come past the side of your eye. So wherever the corner of your eye is down, you don't wanna go past here, or else it's gonna draw your face down, and that's not what we want. So. This area is for blush, bronzers, anything that's gonna add that glow and kind of build up that cheek. But since we're kind of etching out and shadowing, we don't want that to come all the way down. It's gonna hollow us out and make us look droopy. So when you're contouring, just a little tidbit, this is a little nugget of wisdom for you, but just don't go past the corner of your eye. So keep it right in here.
The thing I really love about this particular brush is it's dense enough to where it really gives me a good line for contouring, but it also is fluffy enough to where it really helps me to be able to blend it out as well without having to like get another brush out. <laughs> Once I've kind of contoured with that, I'm gonna go in with my bronzer booster by, again, by Physicians Formula. And I'm going to go with my Eco Tools face brush. And I'm just going to kind of blend that out again. But I'll kind of bring that on my cheek as well. And again, with contour, never go lower than the line. So I'll always swoop up when I go, just like this to keep that color up and not ever dragging it past that bottom line that I've already made. Getting some good cheeks in there. If you're like me and I don't have much face structure, like I don't have solid cheekbones and like an etched out jaw, I just was not born with any of those things, which is fine but I just try and work a little bit extra with my bronzer and contour to kind of create that illusion that I have etched out cheekbones when I really don't. Okay, cheekbones are popping, and now I'm going to do some blush. I'm gonna go with my trusty Real Techniques blush brush and my Buxom blush in Dolly. I use this blush all the time and I love it. I feel like it's bright enough. Oh, just add some life back into those cheeks. I'm gonna go do some brows and then we'll get back into this eye look, okay? And I'm back with brows. Snatched a good brow, looking good. I used my Anastasia Dip Brow um, which it's my favorite if I'm ever going for like a bold brow and we wanted bold brows. So of course that's what we did. So <laughs> let's get into this eye look. I am too excited. I'm gonna go into my Morphe 350 palette, my Nature Glow. I use this all the time because it has like every shade you could need. Why wouldn't I use it all the time? I'm going to go into a really basic neutral brown color and just kind of start this on the lid. Of course, using my blending concealer brush by It Cosmetics. If you're one of my girls, you know, you already know. It's my favorite brush and it's the best for all over shades because it just blends so well. We're gonna go super natural with this eye look because I'm gonna add liner and I'm going to add lashes. I know you didn't see lashes coming, did you? You're surprised, I never do lashes. But I got these new ones and I'm really excited because they're so pretty. And I feel like it really spices up a look without having to do too much. So now we've got that kind of blended on, I'm going to go into my Morphe Bronzed Babe palette. And this one again, just has really neutral shades in it. And I'm going to go in with the one called Hang 10. I'm going to put that on my lid and then just a little bit up into the crease as well. Blending that through really well to build up some subtle colors and these are pretty caramelly colors and they'll look really good with gold glitter which is what I'm kind of going for see how that just kind of darkens it up a little bit looks really good before I go in with my shimmers I'm gonna use this nude stick all over face stick in hey honey it's basically like a cream highlighter and let me see if I can put some on my hand it is just beautiful. I use this all the time in the summer. I love everything by Nude Stick. I love their tinted moisturizers. I have their cream blushes. I have their lipsticks. I have everything by them. I love it. So I'm just gonna take that on my finger and I'm gonna dab that on my eyelids. 
This is not only gonna add some base shimmer, but it's, it's going to make the surface of my eyelid easier for the shimmers to stick to. Well, I'm going to take back with my big Morphe palette, my Nature Glow 350, and I'm gonna take this shimmer shade here. She is very shimmery and she's beautiful. So I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna stamp it with my finger. Like, please look at this. It is so beautiful. It is intense color. Oh my God, I love this. Again, I'm just gonna put that all over my shade and all over my shade. <laughs> Put it with all over my eyelid and we will blend it out. Just using my ring finger because it's really gentle. But again, just piling that up, pressing that in. Don't swipe it around, but really just work on pressing that in. I'm going to take, this is just a Morphe blending brush. And I'm gonna go back into that same first caramelly color that we used. And I'm going to just work on blending the edges out just a touch. I'm gonna go in with my Morphe blending brush again and go in with Hang Ten, which is that second caramelly shade that we used. I'm just gonna take this on this outer V, just on top of that shimmer, and just gonna build up a little bit of definition on this outer edge and kind of blend that in. Now time for some false lashes. I have my, these are the Ardell Naked Lashes. I love these because the band is literally, you can't even see it. And these ones are so wispy. These are in 424. They're just really wispy and they have a ton of different layers. So they look super natural. So I'm excited to put these on. So I'm going to put these on real quick and then we'll do some liner together. Lashes done and like seriously look how natural they look they look just like my lashes but thicker that's what i love they don't just look like a fan of perfect lashes that no one has they look super natural and i love them they're my favorites to wear if i'm gonna wear fake lashes which nine times out of ten i don't <laughs> just because I don't feel the need to. And now let's work on the bottom lash line. How about it? This is another one by Glow Beauty, Crease Shader. Um, it's just a really dense kind of dome shadow brush. And I'm gonna take Beach Please in my Bronzed Babe palette. And I'm just gonna drag that, just a little bit of a darker shade. And I just wanna kind of intensify this bottom before we do before we do some eyeliner. Okay, and for eyeliner, I'm going to use my NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Black Bean. And I'm going to tight line up here. And then I'm going to tight line the bottom. I love it. I just love New Year's Eve. Do some highlighting. I'm going to go back into my big Nature Glow palette. And again, with that shade we took all over our eyes, I'm gonna take that right in the corners of my eye here. Just add a little pop of highlight. Oh, so pretty. And then we're going to highlight our face. And since I wanna be really highlighted on my cheeks, um, cause it's New Year's Eve, why wouldn't you? I'm going to go in with my Anastasia Aurora highlighting palette. And I'm gonna use, let's see, do I wanna use Lyra or Eclipse? Hmm, I think we're gonna go with Lyra. I'm gonna use the color Lyra. It's more of a golden-y color. And that'll match my eyes pretty good. And these highlighters are very highlighty, so. Not only are they highlighty, they're like glittery if that makes sense and I'm gonna take that just on the tip of my nose right on my upper lip chin on my forehead and I'm gonna take my finger for the rest right here 
and then on the tip of my nose. I am obsessed. <laughs> I hope you guys are loving this as much as I am. Okay, last thing is lips. And the winter is rough on your girl. Let's, let's get real. I have, I usually never, it's the mask, I'm telling you. I don't wear chapstick because I don't, because I wear my mask all the time at work. And so that's kind of ruined my lip here. So let's just ignore that. But I'm going to do a red lip. I just think I want to. Why don't we? So I have this MAC lipstick. Hold on. Let me show you. This is in the color Diva. And it's like dark, smoky. Mm -mm -mm. I love it. It's a matte. And then this one's also matte, but it's like bright red. So I can't decide. Either would look so good. You could do a nude lip with this. Keep it simple. But I'm always into a party look. So let's do a red lip, shall we? And I have to get my mirror out because homegirl's going to mess this up if not. <gasps> okay. Red lip, here we come. Okay, red lip is on. Now let's set this puppy with some setting spray. This is my Morphe Luminous setting spray because we want this to last us all night long because we'll all be up past midnight and we need this look to last us. So let's spray. Alrighty, this is the finished look for y'all. I just curled my hair and I have on one of my little black party dresses with poofy sleeves because that makes me feel like New Year's Eve. So I hope y'all enjoyed this video. I wanted to show y'all a look you could do with probably things you already have um, and colors that you feel comfortable kind of playing with already. So some really neutral browns, but we really glammed it up. So we got some serious glow going on these eyes here. That highlight in that inner corner is popping. We got our cheek highlight going good and this bold red lip is just all of my dreams. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. New Year's Eve is right around the corner. I know Christmas was yesterday. New Year's Eve is less than a week away. So we got some looks to do, honey. Everything I use in this look is linked down below. You can shop everything that I have for your convenience right there. Thanks for hanging out with me. I hope you recreate this look. If you do, tag me on Instagram send it to me, DM it to me, whatever you want to do. But I'd love to see y'all's replications of this look because it is one of my absolute favorite simple, bold looks to do. And I love you guys so much. And I'll see you guys next Friday in 2021. So happy new year.